what's going to happen here? Digital Snaps. Sorry, I almost nailed you there. If I get lost, I'm going to resort to this. Just warning, y'all. I'm normally dancing. I'm not normally speaking, so I'm a little freaked out. Most of this is going to be um, directed at the ladies in the audience. Although, guys, if you want to take heed. Anybody know any good jokes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I was not born this way. Don't believe Lady Gaga. Um, there takes, there's a lot of effort and work that goes into looking like this and being a certain way on stage. We're all different shapes, sizes, but there's all this glamification process that happens beforehand. Shapes and sizes. Know your assets. Know how to play them up. Nobody's looking at the tag in your skirt or your dress. Buy a size up, cut the tag out, and have it tailored to fit you. Nobody knows what you weigh, nobody knows your dress size. Uh, know your legends, know your history, do your research on the movers and shakers that came before you, and know the movers and shakers that are on the scene now that are creating what we're seeing on stage. Um, Sally Rand, if you don't know, look her up. Um, eyelashes, don't leave home without them. I will come and smack you. <laughs> the bigger the better, drag queen size is always good. Uh, cut them down to fit your eyelashes, or to your, fit your eyelids, use tweezers, to tack down the end so you don't glue your finger to your eyelid. It happens. Don't neglect your eyebrows. When we're on stage and the lights hit, we tend to lose them. So fill them in, pluck them, keep them in good shape. They set off your entire face. Guys, that goes for you too. Nobody likes this. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, find the perfect shade of red lipstick. Girls on stage tend to find long wearing stuff. Um, we normally do the long lasting, like the stuff that dries your lips out like the Sahara and then stuff on top of it. But it won't budge when you're taking clothes off over top of it and you won't reapply. We powder everything. We powder our faces, we powder our bodies. It sets your makeup, it stops you from being shiny on stage and it'll stop transfer again onto these really expensive costumes that you spent a million dollars on. Not a million, but close. Um, we don't actually go on stage naked. We're usually covered head to toe in body makeup. So all the cellulite's gone, all the spider veins are gone, all the bruises from rehearsal are gone. Spray on pantyhose in a can, into the hands, onto the body, get a buddy to do your back. Learn vintage hairstyling, whether it's victory rolls or finger waves or spit curls. Get your hair back off the face. Believe it or not, this ain't the money shot. This is, I have to be able to see your face. I know. Jewelry, the bigger the better. Invest in big pieces, check the clasps on them, keep them in good repair. The last thing you want to do is be losing jewelry on stage. Um, a little eyelash glue on the back of your earrings will help keep them in place. That's a helpful hint. Your nails. People are always actually looking at your hands because you're taking clothes off with them. So it's important that your nails are of equal length, they're polished. Uh, uh, most of the performers prefer French or moon manicures but they can be any color really, as long as they're in good shape. Um, ladies, you're wearing the wrong bra size. Don't get it twisted. You're all wearing the stuff you wore in high school and college. Go get fitted for a goddamn bra. Whatever the bottoms are, they can be any style you want, but they have to match. That's not an option. Um, just say no to pantyhose. They dig in. Let's not even talk about a trip to the restroom. They're falling down. Invest in a garter belt and stockings, preferably one with a back seam and a Cuban heel. Trust me, you'll like these much better. Corsets. <laughs> Find one. They're $250 to $450. They have steel boning. The strapping on the back is strong. It tucks everything in. It sucks it all up. If you're ordering it and it comes in small, medium, or large, that's not a good corset. They should be made to your measurements. Heels are not an option. Don't leave your house without them. Um, if they're too high and you look like a newborn calf, lower the heel. <laughs> I mean, really, I don't care how cute they are. And put some pressure on the inside edge of the ankle so you don't roll to the outside. Costuming, nothing goes on stage that comes off the rack. Beat it, feather it, fringe it, sequin it, crystal it. It's gonna cost you a small fortune and about 80 hours worth of work, but look at the results. Right? I know. Okay, the best performers I know are smart and approachable, both on and off stage. They connect with the audience from the stage and in the stands afterward. You want to be their friend and you want to know what they're investing in in the stock market. Uh, love other women. I, there's so much cattiness, right? I'm sick to death of it. 
If you can't appreciate women as a burlesque performer, you're in the wrong business and you need to get out. Lean on them, befriend them, compliment them. Your sisters, you're not competition. Learn to take it on the chin. <laughs> you're standing naked in front of lots of people. People are going to comment about your body, about your hair, about your this, about your that. And you just have to let it roll off your back and embrace your flaws because we all got them. And finally, nowhere in the definition of burlesque is the word sex. It is to mock and to ridicule. So if you can't make fun of yourself, you're in the wrong business once again. Um, it's a lot of comedy. Get a fucking sense of humor, people. Thank you.